guys, welcome back to Group Host. My name is Dolan Kraus, and today I'm going to show you how to delete comments in Word. So when you work collaboratively on a document, you think about using Microsoft Word to do it, or Google Docs. But the people who use Word, Word has a number of features that make it perfect for collaborative work, including the ability to recommend suggestions and add comments. If you use Google Docs, it's basically the same thing. So you're probably wondering, how do I remove comments in Word? Well, as you can see, this Word document, or article we have here, a preview of an article, has comments. Well, how do we view those comments? Well, we can go up to this tab, make sure you're on the review tab, go to the show comments button, then you can do contextual or list. I usually stick with contextual. So as you can see, we have three comments here. And as you see, when you hover over these comments, it highlights where the comment is coming from. Now to delete comments, what you want to do is you want to cycle through your comments by pressing next or previous under the comment section. To do this, uh, you can go to next, which is up here. Honestly, if you want to use these buttons and only use these buttons up here, you can. Or what you can do is click on this comment, see where the comment is, hit these three dots, then select delete thread. Or you can go to the delete button and select delete. Now, if you want to delete all the comments, what you can do is you can say delete all comments in document, or you can also hit delete all resolved comments. So let's say I don't care about this comment right here. I'm going to select this three dotted button, then select delete thread. So now that's gone. But let's say you want to hide comments in Word, right? You don't want these comments. Well, there's three ways to do that. You can go to show comments. We selected contextual before, so we can just select that again. Now there's no comments, as you can see. But we still have these little comment icons here, and we also can see there's a change. If we don't want any of this to be visible, what we do is we go to the Changes tab and go to the All Markup, and then we want to select No Markup. And as you can see, there's no markup there. But let's say we want to remove tracked changes in Word. So we want to go to our Markup, do All Markup, we can see there's a history of me removing the strike through. So if we want to get rid of that, what we do is we go to the review tab, obviously, and then we go under the changes icon, press next or previous to cycle through each suggested change. So we're going to go to next. And then what you want to do is you want to accept any of the tracked changes, press accept, remove any of the tracked changes, press reject. So I hit reject, reject. Reject. Then you saw right there, there's no changes in the document. So this has already been struck through by me, but someone removed it, but I rejected that. And so now it's back to the original document. And then if you want to just delete this comment, you can use the three dotted method we used here, or you can go to delete and select the delete button. And this is just one way you can use Word to help create documents with your colleagues. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.